What's going on? My name is Larry, and today we're reviewing Los's new King Los's new album, God Money War. Uh, for those who don't know, King Los, Baltimore, born and raised, um, has been putting in an incredible amount of work prior to the release of his album. Um, his label situation has not been the best, jumping from Bad Boy to getting dropped from Bad Boy to back to Bad Boy again, getting dropped again to now uh, ending up on RCA where his album has been released. Uh, outside of that, thir 13, 15 mixtapes deep uh, before the album came, he's, like I said, he's been putting in a lot of work, um, but all of it is, it's, you can, you can, you see the growth. It's really, it's very Baltimore. How about that? Um, but outside of that, the album starts off with the lead single, War with Marsha Ambrosia. It's really good, really, it's very single ish if you will it has what you know most for which is just really nice lyrics and sort of fast-paced rhymes but it also has that subject matter and apparently he wrote the song months and months before the riots or riots in Baltimore sort of happened so when it came out it was sort of that really nice proper timing um, but past that you go into the first half of the album which is really great um, that whole first half, including especially the black and white interlude. And I don't know what it is with rappers giving these really, really, really great interludes, but they last all of one minute and they really get you going. And then once they get you going, it's like cut off. And surprisingly that interlude ends in gunshots. You listen to the song, uh, black and white, my whole world is black and white. And then, you know, it's like goes on and it really gets you, you know, what you say now, what you say now, get, get down and fucking lay down. Uh, shout out to Danny Siegel. Um, and then it just ends in gunshots and then proceeds into the next song, which I believe is, I believe is Lil Black Boy. It's a song about his son, which is just really great. And he, again, it has that, that, uh, that parental, that father son feel to it. And it's like, oh, this is good. This is a really, this is a really deep track for him to do right now. Um, but then past that, you get down to Black Blood with Isaiah Rashad. And while that song is good, Isaiah Rashad on that song, eh, not so much. Um, Isaiah Rashad has had a slowly increasing track record of putting out a little, of slightly disappointing features. Um, they really don't involve him rapping too much and are basically just sort of low, you know, low hooks. Um, the verse is on point with the song is about, which is black blood makes the grass grow in the ghetto, which is basically um, black people, black black people, whether it be black on black crime or interaction with the police, die. And you know, black blood lands on concrete, grass grows. Um, but yeah, and then past that, you get to Glory to the Lord, which is featuring R. Kelly. It's really upbeat. It's a really nice, you know, song. If you're not a church person, I would not, I might I might skip over it. If you don't like to hear the word Lord or glory to the Lord often, I would just skip over it. Um, but the sad part about all this is after that song and after it can't fade us with Ty Dolla Sign, the album sort of hits a really strong decline. Um, I don't know what it is, but Blame It On The Money, which is the track uh, following uh, Can't Fade Us, just sort of takes everything just it just sort of takes that whole first half and just says yeah no that's that was then this is now um it's been described to me as the fun side of the album i'm still not seeing that but okay that's me um and then past that it's just the songs what is it um to be honest eh, it's okay the one track he had with his baby mother lola monroe um is really good it's been stated that apparently she has better bars than he does which is saying something because unfortunately I know not too much of Lola Monroe, but with statements like that, I might want to get to know Lola Monroe. I'm interested. But then outside of that, the best two parts of the second half of the album are definitely Slave and King with Puff Daddy. And when I say with Puff Daddy, I mean Puffy's like talking some smack early on and then that's it. But he delivers those uh, double time, triple time lyrics that people are familiar with and have fallen in love with close over the years. Um, outside of that, King Los, God Money War, I'd say buy it. 
I'm saying buy it mainly because I want to support local hip hop and he is our first sort of big artist. Um, but if you're not from Baltimore and you don't feel any kind of, you know, obligation to support what's coming out of here, I'd say download it. It's a solid project, a solid first project, um, but it has its shortcomings. Um, if you're a Lil's fan, pick it up. If you're from Baltimore, pick it up. If you're neither one of those things, if you're not from Baltimore, don't live in Baltimore just yet, and you're not a Lil's fan, download it, see what you think. Outside of that, my name is Larry. Follow me on Twitter, uh, lgod77, and everybody have a great day.